unboxing video of M16A1 or Colt SP1 right hand handguard. So this is interesting. We found these being offered by a vendor online and we were really curious about what we were going to get as there can't be that many M16A1 original handguards still in unopened condition. I'm assuming these were originally intended for M16A1s rather than Colt SP1s since these have Department of Defense contract codes uh, on them. We don't know a lot about these. If you look at the packaging, if I'm reading this correctly, the wrapping was manufactured in February of 1985. So this is actual original packaging for this handguard, and the handguard itself has a manufacture date of April 1986. So this barcode here uh, with the number 1005 going on there is a national stock number, which the government uses to track items that are purchased again and again. And this barcode, actually, if you look it up, is correct is the correct national stock number for this handguard. Um, now, for some reason, there's more right-hand handguards uh, new and wrap out there than there are just about, than there are left-hand handguards, and I don't know why that is, which is really kind of curious. So, finding information about the manufacture of this item is not easy in 35 years since it was manufactured. A lot can be lost. Um, based on my research, we've got, so I mentioned we have the national stock number. Um, this code here the DAAA09 is uh, what's called a DODAC, and each government office that issues contracts has a unique DODAC. Uh, this one is given by the U.S. Army Industrial Operations Command, um, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments about this, this is not an area of expertise for me. And based on my research, this contract, which is huge long number here, 85C1024, was initiated in November of 1984, which would seem to be about right for this handguard. My understanding is that Army was phasing out the M16A1 by 1986 and introducing the M16A2, so these would be very late contracts. But if the contract was issued in 1984, then the A1 was still in service and in production, and of course you're gonna be needing replacement parts and that kind of thing, so that all sort of makes sense. So let's um, go ahead and open this thing up. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. All right. Okay, so first impression. Oh, it is right hand. It has a stamp. The um, plastic is not have a very even look to it. Um, I guess 35 years in storage will do that. This looks like there's some edge of this has some discoloration. I don't know what that is. This is some this. Um, but we have the aluminum heat shield is in great shape. Aluminum doesn't see obviously stores very very well. We got the rivets as you can see along here. Um, interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure what to say about this, but um, overall, after 35 years in storage, this uh, looks to be a very, uh, in pretty decent shape, except for it does have a kind of a, there's a, almost a light dusty sheen on here. It's not a, this is not a consistent look. So, um, if you were wanting a, just like a beautiful, consistent black finish on your uh, retro build, this would not be the one that you wanted. And you'd probably be like, I want to go ahead and put a different finish on this. Interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching.